Greetings. As you requested, more and more Flux workflows are becoming available in Comfy UI Studio. I've created 14 Flux workflows for you, with 7 using the Dev Compact model for high VRAM cards and 7 NF4 versions for lower VRAM video cards. In the workflow list, you can find them under the names Flux Dev 7 and Flux and F47. Let's open the Flux Dev 7 workflow and take a look at what's inside. The first workflow is the default Flux workflow, which allows you to create images using prompts and the style chooser. With Hyper LoRa, we've reduced the step count to just 10 for faster generation. The next workflow is Flux SD Upscale, which provides phenomenal quality when enlarging images. While Flux already creates beautiful images, the true quality shines after using the SD upscale. The next workflow, remove background, although it's not a Flux workflow. It pairs perfectly with Flux to create professional sticker style images with text, making it convenient to remove the background instantly. The next three workflows with white backgrounds use Control Net, Depth, Open Pose, and Canny. The Flux CN Depth workflow creates a depth map image and stylizes it based on your prompt. The Flux C and Open Pose workflow identifies the human pose and generates a new image of a person in that pose using your prompt. The Flux C and Canny workflow outlines the elements of the uploaded image and generates a new image based on those outlines. The following workflow is Flux in Paint, where we can select an element in the photo using the mask. Right click on the image you uploaded. Select the Open in Mask Editor option, choose the brush size. In Paint, save it, write a prompt, and then generate. And with the help of the prompt, we can generate a new element in its place. The following workflow is Flux Batch, which allows us to use multiple prompts at once with the press of a button. In the Prompt node, there are 294 style prompts, meaning there are 294 lines, and each line contains a style. We can choose which line to start using in the workflow and how many to use. How to insert our styles into this node? Let's use ChatGPT to write 10 prompts. Let's delete the old list and insert the new one. We should specify to start from line 0 and generate 10 lines. This way, we will get 10 images with the press of a button. The 10 images are ready. Since the word cat was entered in the prompt node, it was added to the beginning of each prompt, making the cat the main subject in the images. Let's take a look at the result. You can download Flux LoRa models from the Civitai page. In the filters, select the LoRa and Flux options. Select a LoRa model. Click on the download button. Download them to your LoRa folder. Each LoRa version must be placed in a separate folder so that we can easily select them in the LoRa node. Click on the copy to come for UI script to paste them in the correct location. and refresh the nodes so that the LoRa appears in the LoRa list. Select it, write a prompt, and start the generation. With the LoRa, we can add the same face or style to our new photos. Our image created with the LoRa model is ready, and the girl's face perfectly matches the example image shown on the Civitoy website. Let's drag the image into the Flux Upscale workflow. Disable the Flux Dev workflow by right-clicking on the empty part of the workflow group and choose the Set Group node to Never option.
enable the Flux Upscale node. Right-click on the empty space in the group and select Set Group Node to Always. This way, it will only generate the active workflow. To ensure the face on the upscaled image doesn't change, let's use the LoRa model here as well. The image is ready, and it's awesome. Let's compare the before and after. Now every generated image will contain the name of the workflow, so with the search function, you can quickly find the images you are looking for. Now I'll show you why I added the Remove Background workflow to the Flux workflows. Since Flux generates high-quality images and can even add text to them, it allows sellers on platforms like Etsy to easily create and sell many printable images. Now we're going to create 10 stickers with transparent backgrounds. First, let's ask ChatGPT for ideas to write sticker designs that we can use on mugs, caps or t-shirts and make sure they include text as well. Copy the 10 new prompts. Navigate to the Flux Batch workflow. Activate it. Right-click on the group surface. Set group node to always. Delete the prompts from the node. Paste your 10 prompts. Delete the cat word. Set the max row settings to 10 Start the generation process. The sticker images are ready. Let's review them. If we need more versions, we can just press the Q prompt button again. Now, let's activate the Remove Background workflow and don't forget to deactivate the Flux Batch workflow. Drag the desired image into the green node, and we can start the background removal process. But if we've generated more than 10 images, it's better to remove the background from all of them automatically with a single button press. To do that, select the Remove Background workflow from the list. Move the sticker images into a folder and enter the folder path into the Load Image from Folder node. Disable the unused workflow and start the process. The background removal process is ready. The images will be in the output folder. Let's ask ChatGPT to create 10 text-free stickers for us. It already knows the correct format for writing the prompts. Copy the prompts. Navigate to the Flux Batch workflow and activate it. Replace the prompts in the node with our own prompts. Delete the word cat in the positive prompt node. Set the max rows number to 10. Start the process. Now let's practice the upscale process. We will enlarge this image. First, deactivate the Flux Batch workflow. Then, 
navigate to the Flux Upscale workflow and activate it. Drag the image into the Load Image node and we can start the process. Now we have increased the image size by 1.5 times, but if we want to enlarge it further, we just need to enter the desired multiple in the upscale node. Now let's enlarge another image, for example, this dinosaur. Thank you for watching. See you in the next update.